First off here, I guess we got to get rid of some of these vines. These have grown all out here, everywhere. And the weather's pretty nice for this. Well, I mean, 12.30 in the day, there's no yeah, way you and I could come 12 out 12.30 normally we're burning up, but today we got like a 20 mile an hour wind blowing. Of course, we've had, you, Laura. <laughs> we've had no rain, but uh, we do have some breeze, uh, thanks to the hurricane. It's uh, been rather nice. I'm liking Laura a little bit. She went yeah. the other way, but she's bringing us a light, lot of niceness. Yeah, now these are the white potatoes. Uh, I don't actually know if they're... I mean, they've been in here the right number of days. But so we, this is our first row here? This is the first row. We really didn't do anything to them. They hadn't really been took care of. And I don't know, I don't know what variety. Now these little things, I think the cows just let the have cows them. have them. Yeah, uh, it's just an old variety that we had. Old oh, white sweet potato. Just an old white one. This sand, this this soil here is just pure sand. There's no, <laughs> there's no topsoil <laughs> in it whatsoever. So I'm going to kind of like. Oh, I see a white potato. I'm going to dig around a little bit and let's just see if we get anything out of it. They'll make French fries. Yeah, I like this size for French fries. It's pretty good. I mean, that's a lot of vines. Tons of oh, vines. There we go. Oh, look at that. Danny likes this size for baking. Oh, I love them. Um, a, I feel it. I see right there. Don't. Another French fry one. I feel uh, roots from the oak trees. See them hanging on here? Yeah, that means that's what this is not a good place to plant, but we needed potatoes. Yeah, we were running out of spaces to put them. Oh, there's another good size one. Yeah, these. So we're going to end up with some. We're going to see how many. Danny and I actually like this size better than the we giant do. ones we, because we like... it's so much easier to just peel them and slice them in half and we're good to go. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any in this. Well, you never know. Potatoes, there. these See, things, they go everywhere. They go everywhere. I mean, just beautiful. And they're beautiful looking. They're smooth and pretty. And like I said, I don't know what variety. Let me get on this side. They were just an old fashioned white one that we've had for quite a while. And y'all, the cows love these vines. Oh, look at that one. Oh, wow. That one is a good size. That's a pretty one there. Beautiful. beautiful. Guys, they're just beautiful. All right. You're just so, going to roll them back to the next row? Yeah, but there's this one's attached right here. Okay. Look at that. That's what I'm saying. We're going to have some nice potatoes. Look I at mean, this. Yeah, they're beautiful ones. For, and these, I love these as much as I like the red ones, really back up and see just in case. Oh, let me. Yep, there's another one. Some that we didn't even know was on a vine. Yeah, look at that. Two good potatoes. I mean, actually to me, that's the perfect size. It is. These are easy to handle. Well, let's just see. The big potatoes are hard for us, for me to sit and peel and cut open. These are the perfect size, a nice slice, very easy. Makes it so much easier for me to deal with. There's a red potato. It's kind of pinkish color. That's, that's unusual. We'll, we'll save it for the cow. Matter of fact, I'll just lay it out to the side. Yeah, the cows like them. I'll feed it to the cows. And I always like to dig See? up. Look at that. You had a red one somewhere. <laughs> no? No, they're white. Look, it's white inside. Well, I'll, say, I'll give that to the cows. It looks pinkish red, but it is white inside. So. That's right. I tell you, I don't know about the variety. Because you see the difference. It almost looks like a red potato, but it's just white. It's white inside. That's crazy. There's another one. Oh, you see, he's getting them, but they're white inside. They're just stuck all out here everywhere. Well, there's a white one. Well. They just went wherever they wanted to be. <laughs> I don't know where they're going to come up at. Yeah. Adam, move. 
we got a we got a lot of rain coming. That's, That's one reason we decided right to do a little digging here. Oh, Ooh, look, at, look that at that baby. That one's good size. That's nice. All right, go into this. Get back a little bit because these white ones seem to go everywhere. Yeah, they seem to have potatoes all over, and they seem to be long. Yeah, they're growing long because it's sandy. See how long? Look, and then it's I mean, look at that. That thing is six or eight inches long and no bigger than your finger. I think it's, it's roots. You got in tree roots. Got in the tree that. roots. That's what it is. That's what happened when we fertilized and plowed this. The, the tree, tree roots, roots came in here. From an oak over there. Okay. Ah, uh, another one. All right, the next plant is right here. Let's get some of these vines. You know, one thing about gardening is those go, those go they go over your way. All of them go your way. Oh, do they? No they don't way. have none over there. Nope. Okay. There's one thing. As I was saying about gardening, it's so much more enjoyable when you do it with somebody else. Conversation's better in the garden. I, it, it, it sure makes time pass a lot better and seems a lot easier. Ooh. Look at that. And see, that's the pink looking one. And I don't actually know why some are pink and some are white. <laughs> Because this is all white this potatoes. This is all white planted. potatoes. There's no red ones planted here anywhere. Yep. There they go. Look at that. We're out on the side out here. And we're getting as many pink ones as we were getting white. That is unusual. You never know what you got on the ground, do you? Potatoes. You just don't know. Or sweet potatoes. I'm thinking the roots got a lot of this. Oh, nope. Look at there. Oh. These are more brickly than the red ones. They are. You can just look at them and they just... So you can't just jerk them off of it, that's for sure. Yeah. So we're learning something about the pink ones. Now, we got one white one, and now we're getting pink. Ah, it's kind of strange. That is weird. Look at there. There's another one. And that's white. They're, that's crazy. The same plant. Yep. But I mean, though, those potatoes all out in the middles out there everywhere. Oh, I know. Look at here. Look, not I'm even. not even in the row. <laughs> oh, Lord. Like right here. Look at, Look at that. There's no vine there. They're over here. So you're going to have to be careful. Look. I mean, even though it's. That's crazy. The plant's right here. Now look. Both of them on the same plant. What is up with that? Yeah, what is up with that? There's a little one. That's crazy. There's some are reddish colored and some are white in the same plant. There we go again. <laughs> for the cows. Maybe we've created a new variety of potato here. Who knows? <laughs> Look at that. Who knows? That's out this in the is... middle of the row. Look at that. That is all right. I can tell we're gonna have to come back and <laughs> we're gonna have to dig the middle of the row. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even in the row. We've got more pink potatoes than we've got white potatoes. Even though they're white inside, the pink color's coming out for some reason. There's, that's just weird. There's now, a, there's a snow a white, white one, one in the middle of the pink ones. Ants. Look at the ants. Oh Ooh, my look at the ants. When I'm done learn. I will start out here in the edges. <laughs> I see white. Look at that. Look at that. All right, get the ants off. <laughs> One characteristic about these—they're all long—they're they're long and slender. 
If it had been rich dirt, which I may take some of that black pond dirt and put in here when we get through, till it all in, yeah. and uh, next year, make some, good. make some good potatoes in here. One thing about it, they've made a lot of vines. That they have. Lots and lots of vines. All right. Cal's gonna enjoy it. Woo! Woo! He's ready for you to bring him something else. He said, Papa, Papa. <laughs> feed me. I think that's all I do is feed him. Pretty much. Went for chamber bitters, we wouldn't have no weeds. I know, don't you love that we got those added in? I went from never having them to they're everywhere. To they're everywhere. I think they came in chicken feed. Yeah, Everything comes in feed. <laughs> Wait, let's see what the next one is. Who knows? Wait, you just drop it. Yeah. Look at that. That's, that's like a bacon potato right there. I hear the rain. It's all of them in here. Yep. And they're pink and white. Pink and pink white. Pink and white pink. all together. Look at that. Look at that. That is I, crazy. I don't understand that. I've never seen that with potatoes. Never. All off of one plant. Another white one. There's a pink one. <laughs> some pink, some white. Of one plant. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, right here. And Smilex. <laughs> Be a long one there somewhere. Look at that. White and pink. <laughs> Look, they don't even match. They don't even match. This is. Uh, look at this! Unheard of! Cow one. I'll tell you, that's the first. I think we think to get wet. Here. And a pink one. A pink one. I'm putting a pink one. I'm going to stick with the tail in right there. Yep. Okay, I've grown sweet potatoes my whole life. 
I've grown white ones and I've grown red ones, but I have never grown white and pinkish colored skins on the same plant. I do not get that. I don't know why. And the insides are white. Yeah, the insides are still white. So it is white sweet potatoes. It has to be two varieties that got crossed in some way. But they're both on the same plant. That that's crazy. I don't get that. So. But we got lots of good potatoes. This bucket is full, and we've only went. You want about what? 16 foot, 17 maybe? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. And we've still got two more, three more rows. One, two, three, four more rows. And the rest of this? Yep. <laughs> Y'all, we're going to have some sweet potatoes here. Look at this. This is Plus, awesome. Plus, we, we've already dug like 10 out of the back garden just out of two rows. 10 five gallon buckets. And we and got we've... eight more rows back there to go. And we ain't even finished the second row yet. <laughs> so, guys, we got a lot to go to deal with, a lot of potatoes to. Um, store some of them and we're going to can some. Yeah. Now the weather's fixing to get in here and we want to thank Sandy from Sandy's Adventures. Sandy's Adventures. For inviting us to be a part of a collaboration called What is Better in the Garden? To us? To us it's conversation. We love just sitting in the garden talking as we work because it really helps us to pass the time and we don't realize that it's, a, that it's actually as much work as it is when we're actually communicating with one another. And when there's two of us that can just josh back and forth and, and enjoy what we're finding. Yeah. That's the beauty of it, enjoying these potatoes. Because with sweet potatoes, you never know what you're going to find under the ground. It's hidden treasures every time you dig. So check out the uh, link in the description below and the uh, card for Sandy's adventures and her collaboration on what's better in the garden to us. Conversation. And guys, continue to follow us because we got a lot of sweet potatoes left to <laughs> dig. And I'm... <laughs> Miss Wanda's house is already full and we ain't even started. <laughs> so now we've got to find where we put in sweet potatoes, guys. We don't want to put the whites and the reds together, so we got to figure out what we're doing from this point forward. So thank you guys for show, uh, coming along today on our sweet potato harvest. Don't ask me what varieties we have. The red ones I've had for so many years, I don't even know if I was a variety back then. I mean, I don't even know. The white ones, I don't have a clue what these are. I've had these things so we many years. We planted these. We planted that, but we're getting these. a mixture. So, And there's no red ones anywhere close to here. We're, we're a 10 acres from the other <laughs> sweet potatoes, you know? So uh, it's, it's just crazy, guys. Just uh, continue to follow us and see what else you're going to figure out happens weird at Deep South Homestead. Seems like we have an awful lot of this. It is 2020. It's 2020. And everything changes at Deep South in 2020. 20. <laughs> we just didn't know how it was going to change. Did That's we? true. Even the food's changing. <laughs> so thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.